Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewThanks.com, bringing you the next edition of Flashback Friday. And this week out, we are going to be playing The Adventures of Lomax. So, if you're like me, you grew up on the Sony PlayStation, it was kind of like the first system that you played as a teenager, where you could actively make decisions to buy your own games. It wasn't like, oh, mom wanted you to play Mario. You know, the PlayStation was kind of like this wild new world with Crash Bandicoot and all these crazy games. But, like, there was a lot of really nifty different games out there. And um, Adventures of Lomax was absolutely one of them for me. Um, I adored this game um, in the fact that um, it was super different. Um, I love that um, it was 3D, but not 3D. It's got like this two and a half D thing going on here. And you got like the vines popping out. It reminded me a little bit of Donkey Kong Country too. Um, obviously, some lemmings. I love the music. I love the sound effects. You got a couple of levels here in the beginning that are super easy, but this is just a beautifully, beautifully designed game. I don't remember it being all that difficult. But definitely, like, if you grew up on games like Sonic the Hedgehog, you definitely, um... Oh, now I'm dead. Crap. See, if you grew up on games like Mario Brothers and Sonic the Hedgehog, just beyond easy to fall in love with this. And it's just like, it's funny to me because, um, I started playing this, I would say right around the time that I, I found, I found Rayman. And, uh, obviously, like, Rayman is the, the better of the two, but this was still... This was still fun. Like, see this right here? These guys popping out of nowhere. And the 3D aspect isn't really there yet. You know, like, this is not... This is not a perfect game. Uh, and de definitely rooted in old school gameplay mechanics. Control is not perfect either but again beautifully visually it's beautiful i love the sound again this was just something like that showed up on the ps1 ah, that i really liked and uh i always wanted there to be another one but there wasn't so, if you're looking for a really cool, different side-scrolling platformer with some 3D elements at the beginning of the PlayStation lifecycle, definitely one to jump into.